President Joe Biden hosted South Korean President Moon Jae-in at the White House. This is President Biden's second in-person meeting with a foreign leader since taking office. Both of them have hailed the strength of the alliance between the two countries after the strains of the Trump era. The leaders reiterated their deep concerns about the ongoing nuclear threat from North Korea. And in a landmark move, Biden has announced the deployment of a special envoy to the region to help refocus efforts on pressing Pyongyang to abandon its nuclear weapons program. Our goal is and remains complete denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. We want to make uh, practical progress and increase uh, security in the United States for the United States and our allies. You know, we closely studied uh, what others have tried and uh, what worked and what hasn't worked. And, uh, you know, under, we're under no illusions how difficult this is. None whatsoever. Moon said the move by Biden reflects the firm commitment of the U.S. for exploring diplomacy and its readiness for dialogue with North Korea. Both the leaders discussed the ongoing pandemic. Biden has announced that the United States would fully vaccinate 550,000 South Korean troops who interact closely with American soldiers. The two countries claim to be cooperating more closely to speed up production of coronavirus vaccines for the world's poorer nations. Although tricky challenges lie ahead of us, as allies that share core values, our two countries will actively work together to address global challenges such as COVID-19, economic recovery, and climate change, and we will usher in a new era. South Korean president announced a joint decision with the United States to terminate guidelines that have long restricted Seoul's development of missiles. Moon's aides have said that the termination of the bilateral guidelines means missile sovereignty for South Korea. Moon added that the allies have agreed to bolster the combined defense posture and reaffirmed their commitment to the transition of operational control of Korean forces in the event of war. Regional security concerns sparred by China was also discussed by the leaders. As the U.S. president seeks to rally Pacific rally allies to coordinate on China, he has urged Seoul to do more to counter China's growing influence in the, in the Indo-Pacific region. Joe Biden wants Moon to take a strong stance on China's activity towards Taiwan and other provocative moves Beijing has uh, made in the region. During the meeting, the two leaders also announced a series of South Korean investments in the United States, including semiconductors and batteries for electric cars. The move showcased efforts in deepening a technological alliance amid heightened competition with China. The two countries also discussed coordination on climate change and has pressed South Korea to adopt a more ambitious 2030 target for curbing carbon emissions.